several years ago, my wife and I found one of these uh, candle holders in an antique store, and it's been sitting around the house, and I've always wanted to see if I could build a replica of one of these things, and uh, never got around to it. But uh, today is the day. It's really pretty simple construction. It uh, really just consists of uh, four corner pieces, a top and a bottom, and a base for the uh, candle cup. And it has a mirror in the back to reflect the uh, light forward uh, from the candle. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and just use the original dimensions, but I'm gonna change a couple things. Um, the glass on this antique original has the uh, glass sitting in a groove on the left and right hand side, but on the top and bottom, it just kind of rests, the glass just rests along the, uh, the bottom surface. And on the top surface, there's actually a gap in between where the glass and the top meet. So what I thought I would do on mine is go ahead and make another rail that fits uh, in between these two um, side posts on the bottom and on the top. And then I'll go ahead and put a groove in those two pieces to receive the glass. Okay, so the top and bottom piece measure four and a half inches square. So I'm gonna go ahead and rough out a length of lumber here to about 10 inches. And then I'm gonna rip it to width and I'm gonna batch cut both the top and bottom to final length. Okay, I should mention that before I cut the uh, top and bottom piece to four and a half inches square, the lumber was already planed to thickness. Now I can turn my attention to the corner posts. Okay, so before we take this lumber over to the planer, we'll go ahead and square up one corner at the joiner. In order for the corner post to receive the glass, we need to make a slot in two faces of each corner post, and a single saw curve just happens to be the perfect width for that. Okay, so the next pieces that I'm going to cut out are the uh, bottom and top rails that I decided to go with that are not in the antique original. But because these pieces are not very wide, I'm going to go with integral tenons instead of floating tenons, which are normally used. Okay, so the next step of the process is to go ahead and make mortises in all these corner posts to receive the uh, top and bottom rails. Now I went ahead and took a uh, scrap piece of lumber and made a, uh, a couple test mortises. And what I found is that when the first tenon goes in, there really isn't a lot of room for the second tenon to go in for the second rail. So what I'm going to have to do is where the two tenons come together inside the mortises, I'm going to have to cut them at a 45 degree angle uh, for them to, so that they can fit in. Okay, for the mortises in the corner post, I'm going to use my horizontal mortiser. And I've already set the positive stops on the left-hand, right-hand side of the mortiser to control the, uh, the length of the mortise. And I've also already set the height of the mortise. So let's go ahead and make some mortises. Okay, so the original idea was to have these longer tenons meet within the mortise at uh, 90 degrees where the ends of the tenons are cut at 45 degrees so they could come together within the mortise. But uh, that actually turned out to be a lot trickier uh, than I thought it was going to be. So what I ended up doing was just going to a uh, shorter tenon. And I think for a project like this, it'll be just fine.
But what I need to do, because my mortises are round, I need to take these uh, square tenons and uh, round off the corner. And I'm doing that uh, just with a chisel. Now that I have a dry assembly of the carcass, I can go ahead and measure up for the glass and the mirror. The dowel was made by taking quarter inch square stock, rounding over all the edges with an eighth inch radius roundover bit, followed by some sanding.
Because of the way the sliding candle cup holder portion was designed, it has to be inserted from underneath sideways on a diagonal. The dowel was inserted temporarily just to raise the platform all the way up to the top. A metal candle cup holder was attached into a pre-drilled hole. 